this 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 emotion uh, oh, it, it's hitting all of us uh, what'd you love about Arnold well I just you know I loved him um, I don't know how you guys are doing this but wow just you know he loved everybody and when Rolfing said he shoot I thought I was the only guy he put his hand on on someone's face and he'd give you a big kiss at Augusta <laughs> and you know he was just <laughs> I don't know. It's very hard to explain. You know, the only, I mean, I, I lose it when someone wins an Olympic medal, but in golf, you know, I didn't take the Payne Stewart death very well, and I was actually doing pretty well tonight, you know, and just a tough, tough thing. How often did you play with him, Freddie? Well, you know, you started to ask me, the first, I played with him in Peter Jacobson's tournament, the Fred Meyer Challenge, it, it was an awesome event. I grew up in Seattle, but obviously I was on the tour. And, uh, you know, Peter had this event, which was big the first year and, and never slowed down. And, you know, I, I shoot, I got paired with him, and I had partners, Lee Trevino and Ray Floyd, and we'd get paired in, in groups. And, um, you know, it was amazing. It was like the last round of a major. And, and uh, obviously Portland supported the event, and Arnold certainly supported Peter. And you know the love affair between Peter and Arnold. It was just amazing. And, you know, and then when I got on tour, to be honest with you, I think I played with him one time, and, and, and people should recollect all that. Maybe I'm just dreaming that I wanted to be paired with him in a PGA Tour event. But, um, <laughs> you know, you're always around him. And uh, I'll tell you, winning Bay Hill – and winning the Memorial, um, and obviously the Byron Nelson, those are big wins. But just to shake their hand and you know have them congratulate you was a was an honor. Freddie, you were uh, regarded as as one of the coolest golfers uh, of, of your generation. But Arnold was the king of cool, wasn't he? You know, I have a friend up in Seattle, Mitch, who who does a radio show and. I, I hope I can call in there tomorrow. I wasn't expecting to call in tonight, but he said, can you send me something I can tweet out? I, I don't tweet. I don't even know what it is, but I, I told him that. I said, it's as simple as this. Um, he just was the coolest guy uh, ever. And, um, you know, I mean, for the people listening, you know, I, I sent Rosie a text. I don't know if I saw the same number, but to be honest with you, I hope it doesn't get too cold there, and you guys are outside tonight, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then before the Ryder Cup starts Friday, you guys do this for honoring Arnold because uh, I think it's the greatest thing ever. And as we know, you know, I've heard people say I, I was dreading this day. You know, I didn't go to Augusta this year because I hurt my back, and I, I just physically, it, it kind of bothers me not to go. But the year before I went, and um, when I got home, there's usually eight to ten people at the house where I stay, and they all ask me how it went. And I said, i got to be honest, I've been going for 23 years. That was my 24th year. And every now and then there's a speech. You know, someone talked about Billy Casper and this and that. And Arnold gave a, a speech that, uh, you know, every past champion in there will probably never forget. Um, and it was just riveting for me. It was amazing. Freddie, we've been part of teams. I know it is Ryder Cup week, but on the subject of Arnold Palmer, he was captain of, of the American President's Cup team in 1996. As the international team, we had Peter Thompson. So I know you were part of that team. Uh, you've been a captain playing under Arnold Palmer. That must bring things back. I mean, we got to do some pretty cool things that week. No, Frank, that, that was, you know, I think some people just want to peek at Arnold. I mean, we had seven days with him and uh you know he he's he's really a very funny man and he's unique to every player in in their own way and like i say it's every time i saw him he would put both hands on my cheeks and then take one hand away and you know give me a little smooch and we played um you know obviously it was nerve-wracking you know you're, you're playing for your 12 11 other guys and arnold palmer but just the stories, you know, and he, he gave speeches. He did a remarkable job. 
uh, and, and, you know, we enjoyed it immensely. But uh, getting past that after, you know, all these other years, it was just seeing him at his tournament um, and then at Augusta and maybe one or two other places depending on, you know, where he would be and if you happen to be playing in that event. But I did get to play in Latrobe in his outing one time. Uh, I believe it was Arnold and I against Weeman and uh, Davis Love. And, wow, what an experience that was. So I, I have been lucky. Uh, and like I say, just, just to get a peek of him. But, you know, I've had several opportunities to, uh, you know, as I tell people, get a little smooch from him. Freddie, what was he like at the Champions Dinner and also inside the Champions Locker Room? Well, you know, about 12, 15 years ago, Ray Floyd grabbed me, and he said, you're sitting right here, and it, and it went myself, Raymond, Jack, and then Arnold. So I was within three chairs of him, and I would always get up and kind of go rub his ears or, or play with him a little bit. Um, but, you know, it, it, again, it's a very mild dinner. Uh and, and up until that one night, um, you know, I don't think he, you know, unless someone passed away, but he never really got up and, and talked. And to be honest, not many did. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was not those kind of meals. But two years ago, you know, it was amazing. I mean, it was like, hello, what, what an opportunity to hear him speak and, and in what a room. And he was talking about him being at Augusta and representing Augusta and being able to play with presidents and what just being at the Masters meant. And uh, I'm telling you, it was riveting. Freddie, last thing. You know, Arnold wore that cardigan sweater so perfectly. I, I think it would be kind of cool if somehow, some way, the American team of really both sides came out day one of the Ryder Cup this coming Friday in cardigan sweaters. What do you think? Well, I, I'm sure Davis has them wearing polo clothing. So if polo's listening, you guys, if they were bright people, they would certainly get a uh, blue sweater out there or whatever, gray or whatever ones they have. But, um, you know, he will be there and on both teams. You know, the, the Europeans, uh, you know, their players started coming over here because of Arnold. And you, we're, everyone's going to say it, but golf is uh, ten times. But, yeah, I would think – you know, that would be a, a tremendous, tremendous pr tribute to the team. And, uh, you know, we have our hands full in a lot of ways. But, uh, boy, this is a rough day. Freddie, thank you for joining us tonight. Hang in there. Okay.